Praise God, Wednesday evening worship service, hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family, my name is Joey Karangan. I am recovered through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I am so thankful. I am so thankful that God saved us, amen. And you know, I get this question a lot that, I just have to say this real quickly before we get into worship service, I get this question a lot. You know, what did God save me from? And we can, we can get into it. A whole bunch of different things but truthfully isn't it from ourselves if you really think about it from ourselves you see when when we when we truly you know worship Lord Jesus Christ Holy Spirit will reveal to us and the, and the written Word of God comes alive beyond beyond the just the text on paper right and, and when you go back even before this world existed. You see, Lucifer, Lucifer, he made it about himself. Lucifer was the one that birthed division, and it started through pride about me. This is my title. This is my gifting. This is my, my, no. In Jesus' name, in Lord Jesus Christ, rebuke that. It's all His. Amen? It's all His. Even our very breath, it's all His. Amen? Say His name, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And in a moment, we're going to pray. But the reason why Holy Spirit wanted to open this way is because this is going to be a heavy message. Praise God. And I say praise God because, hallelujah, Holy Spirit not only wants His holy church, open arms community church, amen, to be awake. Hallelujah, that there's awakening, amen, that scales are coming off our eyes. Praise God. I pray, that, I pray that every moment, every day, that God change me. Change me, O Lord. Amen. Bless me with your wisdom, your anointing, that your light shines. Expose to me. Amen. Expose to me what I've done wrong, what I've hurt, when I've hurt you. Because I'm sorry, Father God. See, it's one thing to know that you're forgiven, but there's a, it's a completely different relationship when you're sorry. Can I get an Amen. You see, everybody says, oh, I'm forgiven, I'm forgiven. Yes, but are you sorry? Because when you're sorry, the fruit of God will line up to your sorry. Meaning that you're submissive to Lord Jesus Christ, and it's evident based on the very next action that you take. Right? The Bible says to children, honor your mother and your father. Amen? For this is the commandment that gives you a promise, that you'll live long life. Right? Now, isn't that interesting that Holy Spirit right now wants to touch on that? Because now we live in a generation, oh my goodness, there's so much disrespect. And I'm not just talking about little children. I'm talking about you may be 40, 50, 60 years old and your parents are still here. Yeah, I'm talking to you too, praise God. Everybody, everybody who has a mommy and daddy, amen? Maybe your mommy and daddy's with the Lord, praise God. Well, God bless you with somebody else in your life that you have respect for, right? Admiration for, maybe an aunt, an uncle, I don't know. But see, God is telling us, honor, right? Honor. Why is that? It's because the overflow of our relationship with God Almighty, the overflow, say that with me, overflow of the relationship with God, our living God. God's not dead, amen? I'm not trying to sing a song, but I'm telling you the truth. God is not dead. He's alive. And Lord Jesus Christ is seated at the throne, hallelujah, and Holy Spirit is alive in you and in me. And when we say God is alive and he's alive in me, then doesn't that prove that we should be accountable for our actions and be in repentance and allow his presence to honor, to love one another as Lord Jesus Christ commanded us? The first one, love God, hallelujah, with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. It's impossible without Holy Spirit. You may say you know Jesus all your life or you have Jesus and you don't have Holy Spirit, then guess what? You failed at the first commandment. Dang, that's a bold statement, Pastor. It's the Bible. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Lord Jesus Christ said that. You know why he was able to do it? Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And the glory of God is, is that Holy Spirit, when he resurrects any beloved child who claims Jesus Christ is Lord, Holy Spirit will be evident in their life. You will tell them by their fruit in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen? 
So as you see this graphic, this graphic is the division symbol, amen? Divide, division. And that's what we're going to talk about this evening, amen? Pray for me and let's just open up in prayer. I pray, hallelujah, I pray in Jesus' name that Holy Spirit has our attention, amen? Listen, beloved children of God, listen, you may be old, you may be, I mean, 100 years old, you may be old and you ain't got no parents, still, we have a father, amen? Or you may be young, amen? You may be 10, 11, 12 years old, maybe even a baby, right? Younger than that, hallelujah. Listen, honor. Say it with me, honor. Say it gooder and gooder. Say, I honor my mommy and daddy in Jesus' name, amen? And God promise you that he will bless you with long life, amen? And of course, there's going to be more and more blessings in Jesus' name, amen? Pray, let's pray, let's pray, praise God. Father, we thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. Father God, we honor you. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are the teacher, that we are just your mouthpiece, Father God. And as I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ, I ask for your help. I thank you, Father, for every message that you bring through Pastor John, myself, through anybody, Father God, who's, who's a mouthpiece for you. And all the testimonies of your glory, Holy Spirit, that only comes through the blood of the perfect Lamb, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, bless every soul that has ears to hear. Remove the scales, Father God. Rebuke me that I'm not a distraction, Father God, that I'm just a blank canvas. The Holy Spirit, I just want to bless you and you just flow as you always do, Holy Spirit. Change me, O oh Lord. We thank you so much, Father God, for all your angels that are fighting for us, ministering to us. We bless you, Father God. I am sorry, Father, for everything that I've done to hurt you and displease you. And I thank you, Father God, for your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. And Holy Spirit, give me the wisdom not to hurt anybody. And give me the wisdom, the power to change my ways to be everything that Lord Jesus Christ paid for on the cross. And it's in your precious and holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five that you're with. Amen. If you're by yourself, you're in your vehicle, just give Holy Spirit a high five. Praise God. And don't forget God's angels. Amen. God's angels love a high five. I see angels all around us in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's get right into this. Praise God. You excited? Amen. I'm excited. Hallelujah. Let's start with the uh, pastoral letter from uh, the apostle. And the Apostle Paul was writing this letter as far as to Titus. And uh, I just need you to know that quickly, when the Apostle Paul writes these pastoral letters, it's not only encouragement to the pastor, you know, obviously to leadership, but it's also direction and warning, you know, for the church and for the, the sheep. Amen. We are all sheep of Lord Jesus Christ. He is our good shepherd. Amen. And the glory of Holy Spirit is that through his anointing and his presence, he has ordained, right, many that said yes to the Lord, hallelujah, and has carried on that accountability, that responsibility in worship, amen, to oversee God's church, praise God. And these are one of those letters in Titus that Holy Spirit is giving us life-changing revelation through wisdom, amen. And this is where we're going to start in verse 9, and we're only going to go through a, a few scriptures in this amen and then we're going to change gears but hallelujah there's a big but now amen avoid foolish controversies and genealogies and arguments and quarrels about the law because these are unprofitable and useless now we got to keep in mind as far as in that time frame in what pastors anybody in leadership christians what they were being confronted with and how there's all this chaos that's taking place. Now, what, when God starts off saying foolish controversies, genealogies, and arguments, this was because, as you know, based in the cultural climate at that time, many were falling back. Say that word with me, falling back. Many were falling back, and now they're starting to argue and fight with each other, and it's no longer the message of grace and forgiveness and agape, that comes only from Lord Jesus Christ, now the conversations started to evolve and, and, and move back towards death and sin and the law and I come from this family and this lineage 
and this is my race, this is my culture, this is my right. Isn't that amazing? Look at the climate that we live in right now, right? Isn't that incredible as far as what Holy Spirit's teaching us right now? So I pray that right now we can open our eyes, our mind, our hearts, you know, just to worship God Almighty and allow Holy Spirit to teach us, amen? Allow Holy Spirit, His presence, to just reveal to us what's taking place. So right away, God is saying, avoid this. Avoid these kind of conversations because all it does is create division. It's not profitable. It's useless, right? It doesn't benefit anything in worship with God. You see, there's many that in this time frame that would revert back to their old culture. And guess what? The old culture and the old religion was, I don't want a relationship with God. I'm just going to do my works. And isn't that incredible that you can be so focused in doing work from a title? Come on now, somebody. Am I preaching to you? You could be so focused in doing the work that your heart's not even in it. That your heart could be completely wrong because in pride, deception has come in. And now it's become all about this work and not about the worship, right? And this is what Holy Spirit right now is saying. Don't, don't have anything to do with it. So pastor, explain, how is this applied to this day and age? Well, the same thing applies. Is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Many of us, praise God, said yes, amen, he is. When Lord Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, this means that you have completely died in Christ. You died in God, and God resurrected you, born again. Say that with me, born again. And Holy Spirit has put his seal on you, which means your identity is not in your genealogy. Your identity is not in your wealth. Your identity is not in your many degrees. I mean, praise God for all those things. Some people get offended when I say this. Listen, take that up with God. But you're missing the point in what Holy Spirit is trying to drive, a, drive across and get through our souls. Is that when we say, Jesus Christ, you are Lord and Savior, that means I completely surrendered and submitted my whole life to you, Father. And it's in this transaction when Lord Jesus Christ had paid in full that the redemption takes place that Holy Spirit, only Holy Spirit can do. And now that he lives in you and in me, God says, now you are my beloved child. Now you are my lineage. Now you are a product, a beloved child of grace, of mercy, of forgiveness, of agape, of healing, of blessings, of breakthrough, of faith, of relationship. Hallelujah. And this is what God always intended from the beginning was a relationship. But notice right away, we're going to start off like this, praise God. Because remember, Holy Spirit is exposing and rebuking division in Jesus' name. Can I get an amen? Remember, if the enemy can creep in your heart and, di and divide this, put that line right here. If the enemy can put that line right here and divide this and this and to create torment and torture... Right here, the fruit of that will be double-mindedness, chaos, malice, anger, backtalk, grumbling, complaining, right? Haughty spirit, prideful, arrogant, mean, snooty, right? That's what that produces. But when the Holy Spirit exposes it, and in repentance we say, God, I don't want that. I don't want that. I saw what the devil tried to do. Father God, thank you for exposing this devil. He tried to strike my emotion. Father God, I thank you. I felt the curb feeler. I'm touching the curb, Father. I'm backing up. Father God, I'm not going to hurt you. Lord Jesus, I see you on the cross. Father, forgive me. Forgive them, Father God. I just thank you so much. I hold nothing against nobody, Father, because I want to stand in your presence blameless. Can you say that with me, beloved child of God? blameless in Jesus name amen verse 10 and 11 of Titus chapter 3 warn a divisive person once and then warn them a second time after that have nothing to do with them you may be sure that such people are warped and sinful they are self condemned Whew. 
In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, through the anointing power of Holy Spirit, I speak this over all of Open Arms Community Church and everyone who has ears to hear. We rebuke self-condemnation. Amen. We rebuke that pride that comes from the devil. We rebuke it. Amen. Amen. Say it with me. I am a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. Right now, Holy Spirit is just rebuking that in Jesus' name. Now, so let's get into this. We're going to be in the book of Romans now. And let's get into this and what the Bible talks about, self-condemnation. Verse, verse 22, chapter 14 of Romans. So whatever you believe about these things. Now, remember, this is just backing up as far as in what the Apostle Paul is writing. This is just backing up as far as with the pastoral letters, right? And how we lead and how we pastor and how we oversee the church. Amen. And how Holy Spirit gives us the gift of discernment. Amen. The discernment is you will see their fruit. God will expose their fruit. Now, when the fruit is exposed, do we judge? Amen. Many of you beat me to it. No, we pray. Amen. We pray for them. Pray for me. Pray for everyone. Amen. And we, and we just say, Father, we just lift that up to you. And we just thank you, Father God, that you exposed this fruit and that you protected your sheep. Amen. You protected Open Arms Community Church. Hallelujah. You protected my family. You protected my children. Amen. My grandchildren. Generations to come. Say with me, protected by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So check this out. So this is it's just backing up the word and what we just read in Titus. Amen. So check this out. So whatever you believe about these things, keep between yourself and God. Can again, amen. Keep between yourself and God. Blessed is the one who does not condemn himself or herself by what he or she approves. This is one of the major deceptions of the devil that is running rampant right now in his church. That the devil strikes and hurts so many people that now we take it upon ourselves. We carry the yoke of division. We carry the yoke of condemnation. How does this happen, Pastor? We start judging and we start voicing out thinking that there's no repercussions right we just learned Sunday what's the repercussion right thinking that there's no repercussion when truly there is we're not showing honor to God we're not showing honor by keeping it between us in a relationship and so what God says is that when we continue down this path we are now condemning ourselves and all the enemy is doing is heaping more and more darkness, trying to take us off the path that we were never intended to go. Say it with me, no more in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I love this. Praise God. This just, this just screams open arms community church. This just screams you, beloved child of God, for all of eternity. All of heaven right now is filled with our praises, with our worship. I love this. Romans 16, verse 16. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Hallelujah. All the churches of Christ send you greetings. Amen. And don't you love it when the written word of God speaks this way and teaches this way through Holy Spirit? Can you imagine as far as when this was being written down, right? The breath of God, Holy Spirit himself writing it down. Hallelujah. Through Christ our Lord. Through a beloved child of God. You, me. Amen. Apostle Paul, right? And just writing this down. And how powerful is it that all of the churches, right, celebrate you. All of the churches, right, just are in thanksgiving for you. Amen. And I just pray that over our beloved home church, Open Arms Community Church. Amen. Welcome home. Hallelujah. Welcome home. Verse 17. Now I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who create divisions and obstacles that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Turn away from them. Beloved church family, here it is in the written word of God, and only Holy Spirit can teach this word of God and to bless us with life-changing wisdom, revelation, and also for us to just be aware, amen, to wake up, amen. That here you have the Apostle Paul saying to watch out, watch out, because there are demons that all they want to do is create division, that all they want to do is create strife. That all they want to do is create drama. All they want to do is hurt Holy Spirit 
and hurt Holy Spirit's presence. That's all they want to do. And here, God says, look at the obstacles, right? Look at the obstacles, the ones who create this division. And God says, just stay grounded in the teaching that you have learned. Meaning that in this teaching that we are in, that only Holy Spirit can teach us, is that when we say that we worship Lord Jesus Christ and that we are one with God, we immediately have this honor for God in what God went through. All right? Now let's worship agape, what Father God went through in order to provide the perfect sacrifice. There's many of you that are blessed with beloved children. Amen? So right away you have this connection with Father God. What the Son went through, Lord Jesus Christ, the only way, the only truth, the only life, what he went through, what he went through, what he taught us in how he lived a perfect life on this earth and what he went through on that cross. Holy Spirit. What Holy Spirit went through. Amen. Now remember, this is agape, our God Almighty. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And what Holy Spirit continues to go through in you and in me. How we, we, how I constantly hurt God, whether it's disobedience, right? Whether it's the way I, I looked at somebody or, or acted, right? You see, when, when, when we honor God, agape, this way, we're in this relationship with God Almighty in complete honor. And I pray in Jesus' name that as His beloved children, as we honor God, that we are blessing Lord Jesus Christ with the true amazing faith that God is saying, I'm going to keep on. My virtue is going to keep on flowing through you and your beloved family, your church family, your community, your workplace. Amen. That virtue from heaven keeps on overflowing through you because you honor God Almighty. Amen. Not the wrong amazing faith where Lord Jesus Christ was amazed at their lack of faith because there was no honor and then there was no miracles. Right. Rebuke that. Amen. Say with me. I rebuke that in Jesus name. Amen. And of course, God says here, turn away from them. And then continues on. For such people are not serving our Lord Jesus Christ. They're serving their own appetites. By smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. You see, many people think that the devil, right, would just come and he automatically looks like a wolf. No. No. The devil has a soft voice, an innocent voice. Some people think that the devil looks all mean and crunchy and, and nasty looking and scary. No. The devil could look like that girl that you looked at and you shouldn't have looked at that way. Or that, that man that caught your eye that you shouldn't have looked at. I'm not judging nobody, but God give us, remember, through honor, through worship, that anointing power to truly understand the cost, the price that was paid, and for us to be in repentance and saying, Father, I shouldn't have looked at that person that way. That's your beloved child. Father God, rebuke that thought. Crucify that thought. Amen? Or maybe it was something you said. Maybe coarse joking, right? Or maybe just outbursts of anger. Right? Maybe you hurt yourself and you said some words that you know you weren't supposed to. It's moments like that where Holy Spirit said, Ooh, don't, beloved, repent. See, that's who Holy Spirit is. He coaches us. He comforts us. He's our advocate. He builds us up. He encourages us. But when we get so caught up in prideful thinking of me, 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 and my, 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 guess what? Holy Spirit's trying to encourage you, build you up, speak the living word, the written word, amen, get into worship. But then, because you're so caught up in your mess, you want nothing to do with God. And you start getting agitated and angry of His goodness. And this is why God is saying, turn away, amen. Last time I checked, turning away is like this. Right? And the glory of God, when God says turn away, 
God is saying, I know that took your attention. I know it was a distraction from the devil. God is saying, turn away, right? Turn away. So the devil, whether this could be hurt, drugs, addiction, right? Past relationship, divorce, adultery, whatever it is, right? The devil wants you to, right? Whether it's your own, right? Whether it's your own thing going on in your soul or somebody else and the devil's going like this, and it's, 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 uh, it's like a bait, right? It's like a bait trying to get you. And God says, turn away. When you turn away, who right now, praise God, is your focus? I pray in Jesus' name, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everyone has heard about your obedience. Amen. Beloved church family, this is who you are. Your obedience to Holy Spirit. You're fighting the good fight. Amen. You are faithful in blessing God with everything you have. Amen. Faithful. Hallelujah. Say that word with me. Faithful. Amen. Because you know that the day is approaching and we are not going to stand in condemnation. Hallelujah. From this moment forward, we're not going to condemn ourselves. Amen. We're not. We're not. We're not going to create division. We rebuke that in Jesus' name. What we usher in is Holy Spirit peace. Amen. And that is what God is teaching us right now. How to move forward in living this life, hallelujah, of faith, amen? And through faith, God gives you the ability, the anointing, the power to speak the blessings into your future, amen? To curse the things that's not of God, amen? That's of this world, to curse it in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Over all those things that do not belong, plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and command that thing to be casted to the pit of hell where it belongs, amen? And the glory of God, when it manifests in this honor, in this worship unto Lord Jesus Christ, His Holy Spirit promises that He will bless you with a fresh anointing in your relationship with God the Father. Amen. Everyone who has heard about your obedience, and once again, that's what we just discussed, your obedience to God in worship. I rejoice over you, but I want you to be wise about what is good. Amen. And innocent about what is evil. Amen? Have nothing to do with evil. Amen? Have nothing to do with evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under, hallelujah, whose feet? Say it with me, my feet. Amen? God of peace, his name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will soon crush Satan under your feet, beloved child of God. Right there, let's just give God praise. Amen? That this is the anointing Lord Jesus Christ give you freely because you received him and you have this power through God Almighty. That Holy Spirit will crush Satan under your feet. Amen? You notice God didn't say his feet or that feet. He said your feet. He give you the power. Hallelujah. To do it. Amen? Say it with me. Do it in Jesus' name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen? And I pray, hallelujah, I pray, we all pray, amen. Pray for one another so that virtue keeps on flowing, that his grace, his presence, hallelujah, grace has a name, his name is Holy Spirit, amen. Grace is not a credit card, rebuke that. Grace is a person of the Godhead, his name is Holy Spirit, amen. And I pray that Holy Spirit is just overflowing within your heart, in your mind, in your family, in your marriage, in your relationship. Praise God. I pray in Jesus' name as I plead his holy and precious blood that there's marriages being transformed. Amen. That there's marriages that the enemy, the enemy thought he had you deceived that, oh, this is it. Right? And the glory of God is, yeah, you're right. This is it. This is it for a breakthrough. This is it for a new season. This is it, hallelujah, for redemption, for restoration. This is it for the gooder and gooder. Amen. Abundant living in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Do you receive that? Hallelujah. I receive it in Jesus' name. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. As always, we encourage you and we thank you for your blessings of your offering, your, your first fruits to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to give, you can give electronically and it's completely secure at oacchurch.com. That is oacchurch.com. And you can give electronically through PayPal, whatever is convenient for you electronically. Once again, how many times can I say electronically? I don't know, but let's try it electronically. You can give electronically securely. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. It's good to laugh. Amen. 
But um, let's, not, let's not steal or touch any of God's worship. Remember, all the worship goes unto Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Do that with me. All the worship goes unto Lord Jesus Christ. And I just pray in Jesus' name that all of heaven right now, amen, that we can just bless our heavenly Father. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you for your faithfulness and giving. Amen. You cannot outgive God. And God will bless you hundredfold and the seeds you sow. And maybe you don't have anything to give. I pray God will give you increase. Now remember, maybe you don't have anything to give. You're sitting there going, I don't have anything. I pray in Jesus' name, Holy Spirit will bless you with seed to sow. What did we just say? Seed to sow. Meaning that when, not if, when God blesses you with this breakthrough, of financial increase in your life you don't eat the seed amen you sow the seed hallelujah you sow the seed into God's kingdom amen and watch what God will do because God is the one hallelujah he is our provider amen thank you so much once again for your heart of worship we love you so so very much praise God remember Saturday evening the table praise God keep that lifted up oh we are so excited amen God is good all the time it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Love you so much, beloved church family. Praise God. Let's love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, everything that we have. Amen. And Holy Spirit, in you and in me, will love everybody. Amen. Say it with me. Everybody. Hallelujah. Love you guys so, so much. God bless you guys. Praise God. I'll see you soon. And if not, next half an hour in Jesus' name. Amen. Mwah.